granny square. You start with a slip knot on your hook. And then you chain four. Insert your hook into the first chain and do a slip stitch to create a loop. Chain three and then do two double crochet stitches into the loop. Chain one and do another three double crochet stitches in the loop. Repeat that again two times. So chain one and double crochet three. One last time, chain one and double crochet three. chain one and connect to the first chain three on the other side with a slip stitch. That's your first round for your granny square. For the second round, start by chaining four and in that first space Right beside that chain, do two double crochet stitches. Chain one and go to the next open space by skipping three double crochets there and, it, and do three double crochet stitches. chain one and do another three double crochet stitches in the same open space. Now you chain one and move into the next open space in the first round by doing three double crochet, another space, and another three double crochet. These are the corners that create the square shape. Chain one again and move to the next corner, open space, by doing three double crochet, a chain, and another three double crochet. Chain one and go back to the first space you did those first two double crochet stitches to finish the last corner. So that's three double crochet stitches. You can chain one and then do a slip stitch into the top of the chain on the last stitch there. That's the second round of your granny square. Okay. To start the third round, we're going to chain four stitches and do two double crochets in the same open space that the chain is in. That's the first part of your corner. You're going to chain one and move on to the next open space on the side with three double crochet stitches. Then chain one and move to your corner with three double crochet stitches again. Chain one 
chain one and another three in the same space. Chain one and move into the next open space with just three double crochet stitches. Chain one, move into the next corner with three double crochet stitches, chain one and another three double crochet stitches. And you can repeat this for the rest of the way around. To complete the third row in your granny square, once you've done the final three double crochet stitches in the last corner, you'll chain one and then insert your hook into the top of the chain in the first stitch. So you kind of did that chain four at the beginning there, so you count one, two, three, four, and put your hook in that fourth chain and bring the yarn through and complete it with a slip stitch. And that completes a three row granny square.